Greetings, welcome back to the outer worlds. Let's go back to our ship. We've got to be okay, you know what? I'm gonna go back like that. Yes. <laughs> We've finished I think every quest you could have found find on this planet, I think. I'm not sure whether the whole planet was hmm. Maybe. That was a good thing you did, Captain. Thank you. Helping to bring the deserters and Edgewater folks back together. I hope you rest well on that. I'll try. Oh, she, is she going with me? Is this your ship? Yep. Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Eh. Oh, gosh, <laughs> listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. Mm. I can understand not wanting to go back. Oh, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But. Can I come with you? Sure. I could tend to your engine. I know my G valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Hop on. I'll be, I'll be glad to have you along. Pick a cabin, it's yours. I mean, uh, thanks. You won't regret this, ma'am. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. <laughs> okay. Let's get inside. Hopefully, we'll, we won't get assaulted by a vicar. Hello. Well, I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. Okay. Well, I've got the stuff you need. I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community. Thank you. What can I do for you, Captain? Mm, I have a power regulator. You know how to install a power regulator? No. Oh, I guess I do know. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. Okay, got it. Thank you. Where did she go? God damn it, of course I missed the ladder. Oh, that's pretty. Do I want to be standing here? Can I close? Where are we headed? Um, I don't know. Not, not where yet. Wait, what's that? Is that another? Vocational competence Where are that? Choosing to respect reference all of your spent skill and perk points. Then you can spend them. Ah! Oh, no, no, not yet. But that's good to know. I can do such a thing. I might do that. If I find myself in a pearl, I will do that. Hello. What can I do for you, Captain? Uh, I've installed the power regulator. Let's get out of here. request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Good, I've been waiting to hear from him. Ah, there you are. Hail and hearty and captain of your own ship. Yeah. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing. 
I assure you. No, nothing. Everything is a light headed. Also, I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. Okay. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Okay. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> or I put, could put a couple of light years between me and Halcyon. Can I land somewhere outside Stellar Bay? <laughs> okay, why do I need a nav key to land on a planet? Okay. Speaking, Monarch is a moon. Terrible okay. And almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation no? terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. Okay. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys called Kelly. Right, the black market here. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. Hmm. What's the reason from just leaving Sealion all together? Without a skip drive? I don't have one. You'll be dead before you make it to the nearest star. Look, I admire your optimism. But the Thanks. truth is, you're stuck here. You, me, and the rest of this colony. We're all skating precariously around the edge of oblivion together. None of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so we may as well make it a better place, and we can start by reviving the hope. Fine. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design, cutting-edge technology, years ahead of its time. I call Sounds it suspicious. Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the captain's quarters. Okay. I'll put it... Mm, okay, you want to explain? Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. Hmm? It has limits. First generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. Okay, you mentioned limits. Only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. Best used in moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. Okay. People actually fall for this? <laughs> the beauty is they don't expect it. The shroud mm. is the only one of its kind. We humans have a tendency to overlook the unexpected. Activate the disguise, walk past someone. What do they see? A figure dressed like a fellow employee. Don't act odd. They won't focus on you. Okay, thanks. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. This reminds me so much of the StarCraft missions briefing for... Terrans.
even the even Ada's voice. Hey, thank you. Don't do that, pretty please. I wanted to check my quarters wherever they are. Is this mine? Yep. Ooh, thank you. The holographic shroud projects a disguise on you and your companions that gives you access to restricted areas, provided you have the correct ID cartridge for that area. Okay. Okay. Welcome, Captain. Viewing messages for user Hawthorn A. And red. Oh, I forgot to mention in my previous message. Send me. I'm mailing you a copy of my favorite serial, The Space Adventurers of Singularity Steel. It's about a dashing space pirate with a heart of, well, steel. It's not exactly board approved, so don't you go showing it around when you're spacer to your spacer buddies. I hope it will amuse you while you're on out adventuring. Any similarities to a certain someone are entirely, entirely intentional. Okay, logs. Oh, wait. Mm -mm. Sorry, I have to stop video if you wanna read this. Because no, God damn it. Wait, what? Weapons from the void. So, how to minimize the use of the groundbreaker of a scientist? Something here? I guess there is something. So there's that. Mm, groundbreaker, weapons from the void. Yeah, I'll go there first. Yep. What can I tell you? I just love doing side quests. Here you can see all the plants in the system as well as some special points of interest that you may have discovered. You can fire your ship to any location that you have unlocked, though some landing base requires special codes and keys before they allow you to land there. Arrived at the groundbreaker. Okay, how can I get there? Welcome back, Captain. No. How can I be of assistance? How can I get on the groundbreaker? I'd like to learn more about the colony. The groundbreaker. Yes. If we're going there, please be sure all docking forms have been filed in triplicate and fees have been paid. The Mardets take their docking laws quite seriously. Okay. And um, can you take care of that for us, right? I can. Yes. Let me add that to my list of 1,435,498 tasks I am simultaneously executing in order to run our ship. Thank you! You are more than welcome, Captain. Okay, goodbye. May luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. Mm. But it's Thanks. a for humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. It kind of does sometimes. What do you want to hey, talk about? Captain, I heard the Groundbreakers got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson. Okay. What's about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing this by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you can in Borston Beans, she could teach me all manner of stuff. Sure, we could head to work the engineer Captain, now. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? I don't think so. I think it's time we move along. What? No! No, 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 sorry. Captain, you can't mean it. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> Thanks, Captain, for letting me stick around. I mean. You're welcome, I guess. Okay, let's get to the groundbreaker. Perfect. Select up to two companions. Oh, nice. So I can take both of them with me. 
That's good. Whoa, okay, a lot of loading up is going on. Can I move now? Hello. Just checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. Thank you. Hey, Captain. Hop in space. Yep. I never thought I'd be able to say that. Actually, let me give him something. Um. Oh, he has some perks. Pursue hack skill when Max is in the party. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll give him a little something that's 10. Okay, his armor is better than what I can offer him. Okay, he's, I think he's very well prepared for everything. They are better equipped than me. Plasma rifle. Wait, what's about? Okay, I don't want him running with shotgun. My armor is better. Do you like that? There you go. Uh, what about him? This is 117. 119. Why was the thread? 200 melee, 200 melee. So. Can I... can't really repair it. Hold our repair all equipped. Okay, can I repair it? I cannot repair it when he is the one wearing... Okay, never mind. Let's see, Whoa, drinking sapphire. Let's go. Can I take it, please? <laughs> okay, we found some. Right this way. Yes. Identification, please. Um, here you go. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Yes. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. Why? According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Oh, sorry. The ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on, this isn't the end of the world, probably. How do I get this result? I want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. Okay. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. Can't miss it. Any idea why my ship was impounded? Information is above my pay grade. Okay. Turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. What? I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll go talk to him as soon as I start out of him. Well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Thank you. Oh, and if sure. you that way, would you mind doing me a favor? What? Sure. Wanda Dorset over in Sick Bay, tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Okay. A shipment? A handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Got it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? Can I go through? I'm looking for someone named Gladys. Wait. There's some tension between the board and the ground. No. Offense. Yep. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Okay. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Hmm. Can I find a job around here? Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board, that is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. Okay, I understand. Okay, that's all. I, there's just too much. Be seeing you. 
Oh, so now I can go through. Good. Good, good, good. I picked up this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Okay, let's see. Note that. Where does 68? Oh, that's very close. <gasps> no, seriously. There was a lot of static at first, but then this voice said his name was Graham. Graham, right. Broadcasting on a dead world full of monsters. Now I heard everything. <laughs> you saw nothing. Got it. Can we talk? Well, you want to? Captain. If I could trouble you for a moment of your time, while we're on the groundbreaker, I may have an idea for how we could find the translation. Oh, for your book! Okay, you know somebody who can read the book? I've been thinking on that. There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. Okay, that's not like a good lead, but how do we find him? That's a good question. Really? Fortunately, we're in the perfect place to start. This is where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. How will a crew manifest help us track down I'll comb the last your friend? Months of departure manifest to track the philosophist's off-world destination. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you, Captain. You're welcome. I need to get down there, so we need to get through here. Pretend I didn't just steal stuff. Whoa. Okay. No, thank you. Okay, I just want to find this weapon. Something about this weapon. Oh, hello, Gladys. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store bought. Um, Fina sent me. No. Yeah, kinda. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Sorry. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control, for the time being at least. Now, I only have the one nav key, and they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Oh, sorry. 10,000? Um, <laughs> any chance of a discount? Phineas, that old cook. He was quite the dancer back in his prime, did he tell you? Real light on his feet. Real light in the wallet, too. He still owes me a small fortune. Laws, maybe I should charge you double. No. Okay, tell me about this opportunity. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the groundwork, as well as earn some bits. Hmm. Tell me. No, uh, what other jobs do you know about? Might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, okay. the Groundbreaker's chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. You'll find her fretting in engineering. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for fen someone call me a liar. Okay. Now let me see what you've got. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. And I just leveled up. No, I was looking for... No, not buy. Sell. Junk. That'll... This is no junk, okay. I'm gonna sell it. General mods, consumables, armor, yeah, my soul. 
Oh, they're slightly. Yeah, this one as well. Sort this. Mm, I stick with this one because it's not mine. Why this cost so? Okay, I'm actually getting bit. No, I will destroy the other stuff I have. Okay, and actually that's gonna be it for today. Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon.